Hi, this is James at World War II Jeep and Rifle. Today I want to talk about the Desert Cooler accessory. This is basically um, a coolant reservoir for overflow of, of coolant from your radiator. The standard Jeep Willis Ford GPW from World War II did not have an overflow reservoir. The radiator, uh, the radiator cap has a four pound limit and once the pressure exceeds that and uh, coolant needs to escape your system it just ran out inside your engine compartment on the ground or in the garage so um, I, I understand that some of the Africa units may have used spent artillery casings artillery shells and brazed some sort of a setup so that they weren't losing coolant um, in the very hot conditions. And they just plumbed uh, some hose out of the radiator into the bottom of this reservoir. And when the coolant expands inside the radiator and the engine, because it's hot, it exceeds the four pound limit of the radiator cap. <clears throat> and uh, it overflows into this can. Then once the engine cools down, it uh, re reduces the volume inside of the unit and that creates a, a vacuum and the vacuum then sucks the coolant back out of this overflow reservoir into the engine. Let me uh, open the hood now and I'll show you a little bit more. When you install the desert cooling unit, the, uh, the can comes with a zero pressure cap. It's important that you put, you put the zero pressure cap on the radiator so that as the coolant expands, it can freely uh, exit the radiator through the hose and uh, through the tubing that is supplied with the desert cooling unit and into the bottom of the reservoir. The radiator cap that was stock with the radiator on your Jeep is placed on the reservoir and if the temperature and pressure inside of this overflow reservoir should ever exceed four pounds, then it exits through an overflow tube. So this gives you just a little bit more capacity of coolant. It allows the, the recapture of the overflow liquid into, it, into the uh, canister and then it is sucked back into the radiator when the engine cools down later instead of having radiator coolant dripping all over the engine compartment on the floor and everywhere else inside your Jeep's engine. So there you go, a little bit of a of a overview of the desert cooler. Uh, sometimes I see photographs of this being mounted a little bit higher up on the grill. <clears throat> I think that would be more ideal. The The tubing kit that came with the desert cooler that I'm using uh, is intended to be mounted so that it goes underneath this crossbar, underneath the radiator, and then back up, clamped on through hose clamps to the uh, stock output tube from the radiator filler neck. So that's, that's where mine fits, and it still does the job. Once the engine cools down, it, it just sucks that coolant right back into the engine. Hope you guys enjoyed the video today, found it informative. If you did, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and we'll keep bringing you more. See you next time.